President Donald Trump compared Democrats to a violent criminal gang in a Wednesday tweet that claimed that both groups opposed the Federal Immigration Enforcement Agency ICE. Trump in a tweet claimed, the two biggest opponents of ICE in America today are the Democratic Party and MS-13. In an interview that aired on Tuesday he said Democrats are fools if they think that getting rid of ICE would be a good idea. He has been fighting with Democrats over his family separation policy. He said earlier this month, that they were demeaning border agents when they said ICE should be abolished. The president has repeatedly called Democrats weak on immigration and want open borders. He routinely mentions the November elections, where immigration and his administration's zero-tolerance policy at the border will be a top issue. In an interview with Tucker Carlson that aired on Tuesday he said, it's incredible. I mean, the Democrats are for open borders, which means crime. Open borders mean crime and you look at the MS-13 is pouring in and we stop him better than anybody else could, but when they get through and then we send ICE because ICE is tougher than they are and now, he said. I understand there is a big move to try get rid of ICE, but MS-13, these are tough vicious people. They don't like guns, they like using knives better because it's more painful. Tearing into MS-13, Trump said members of the Central American gang are vicious people and ICE goes in and they get them out. They get them out. They put them in jail or they throw them out of the country and they don't even think about it, and now is a move on to get rid of ICE because ICE is tough, he said. If you don't have tough people doing that job, you're going to have crime like you've never seen it. So, it is incredible. Trump said that Democrats are fools if they think that getting rid of ICE makes sense. Maybe it's a political philosophy that they grew up with, maybe they learned it at school, maybe they're fools, I don't know," he said. Earlier in the month, Trump asked, how can the Democrats, who are weak on the border and weak on crime, do well in November? He said the first week of July, the people of our country want and demand safety and security, while the Democrats are more interested in ripping apart and demeaning and not properly funding our great law enforcement. Trump also linked his defense of ICE to his frequent brandishing of the threat posed by MS-13 gangs and returned to using charged language comparing them to an infestation of insects. When we have an infestation of MS-13 gangs in certain parts of our country, who do we send to get them out? ICE. They are tougher and smarter than these rough criminal elements that bad immigration laws allow into our country," Trump tweeted, misspelling elements. Dems do not appreciate the great job they do. He concluded, then adding without explanation, November. Pressed by activists on the left enraged by the administration's child separation policy, which Trump announced he was stopping after fierce public criticism, some Democrats including presidential contenders have called for abolishing ICE and reconstituting the agency. Share this article Share 16 Shares ICE was created along with the new Department of Homeland Security in 2003 following the September. 11 attacks. Agents of the Immigration and Naturalization Service previously handled immigration enforcement. Democrats and activists have identified ICE agents with the crackdown, including the new zero-tolerance policy at the border. 
Trump has also complained about the lengthy judicial process used for dealing with immigration and asylum claims Many Democrats are deeply concerned about the fact that their leadership wants to denounce and abandon the great men and women of ICE, thereby declaring war on law and order, Trump wrote in yet another tweet Tuesday morning These people will be voting for Republicans in November and, in many cases, joining the Republican Party, he added Meanwhile, the White House has used its official Twitter account to attack Democratic Senators Kamala Harris and Elizabeth Warren Both senators were accused of supporting the animals of MS-13, a gang that Donald Trump has frequently named in defense of his controversial immigration policies The White House first went for Warren, tweeting directly to her, at Sen Warren, why are you supporting criminals moving weapons, drugs, and victims across our nation's borders? You must not know what ICE really does A few hours later it tweeted an almost identical message at Harris, at Sen Kamal of Harris, why are you supporting the animals of MS-13? You must not know what ICE really doses Both tweets included links to articles that were published on ICE's own website The attacks from the taxpayer-funded account came just days after Warren and Harris, who are both considered contenders for the 2020 Democratic presidential nominee, spoke out against ICE Warren called for ICE to be completely replaced as she spoke at a Keeping Families Together rally in Boston on Saturday The president's deeply immoral actions have made it obvious we need to rebuild our immigration system from top to bottom, the Massachusetts senator said Starting by replacing ICE with something that reflects our morality and that works, 